What is up guys? My name is Norman Tube and welcome to a FIFA 18 video. Damn, I'm so excited to say this. This is an update video of the new features that are, be, that are going to be coming with the game. But on your screen right now, courtesy of EA Sports, is the reveal trailer of five of the icons that are going to be included in FIFA 18 Ultimate Team. These five icons are Ronaldo Nazario, that's right, R9, Thierry Henry, Diego Maradona, Yashin, the Russian goalkeeper, I think he is, and then Pele. These are five of the icons which are going to be included in the game, and we don't know which other ones are going to be included. More are going to be released in the summer, um, but these are the five that we know for right now, and man, am I excited. Finally, legends and icons, as they are called in FIFA 18, are coming to the PS4. Um, they're going to be staying on Xbox, and they're going to be staying on the PC, or they're coming to the PC. Um, but those are the legends that are going to be coming to um fifa 18 and i am hella excited man i'm hoping for ronaldinho right i'm hoping ronaldinho gets included in the icons as well but anyway features for uh the new fifa 18 we're gonna kick things off with the real player motion technology now this is an all new animation engine developed by ea sports which improves player responsiveness and adds player personality now what that means is from Ronaldo's sprint style to Raheem Sterling's quick turns and the distinctive technique of Antoine Griezmann, we will be able to, in FIFA, in FIFA 18, experience and feel the real-life tendencies of the world's best players, right? So think about players like Eden Hazard. Think about players like um, Lewandowski, um, Iron Robin. All of their signature traits are going to be incorporated into the game, right? Now, for all other players, right, because not everyone can have their signature style incorporated in the game. For all other players, the new game mechanics engine uh, will basically assign a generic blueprint to them. Uh, by generic, I mean all tall, stocky players will sprint and run and move differently to shorter, nippier players, right? So, for all your other um for all your other normal players as it were um, the new game mechanics will apply to their body type um, and their overall skill rating as well so that's the first one player movements or the real player motion technology is what fifa 18 is calling it or ea is calling it rather secondly we have dribbling now ea sports have completely overhauled uh, the dribbling engine for fifa 18 as well and more specifically um, they have revised the L1 button on the PS4 or the LT or the LT button I think it is on the Xbox Quick side note for the remainder of this video. I will be showing you guys um, Some of my uh, previous pack opening videos where I pack a couple of special cards where I pack a couple of um, high rated cards, so Enjoy now basically in FIFA 17. This is a button that allowed you to um, change change direction and add a bit of um, and add a burst of pace um, in game while you are playing and EA has basically revised this button um, so that players are able to better utilize um, this button right so players like Messi will be able to better burst um, but with a burst of pace get out of a dribble or out of um, from a standstill position um, so that's the first one the dribbling overall and also all new crossing controls are gonna be um, are gonna be incorporated. Now we do not have um, any official gameplay footage of the new crossing uh, mechanics. Obviously, uh, EA are gonna be releasing these things in segments, um, but we do know that there they, 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 they is gonna be um, a new revised um, crossing uh, crossing technique uh, that will be incorporated by by players. Uh, and this is this has all to do with the overall in-game um, gameplay mechanic that has been completely overhauled for FIFA 18. Thirdly, or fourthly, um, is the shielding button. Now, in FIFA 17, shielding was extremely OP, right? So shielding was L2 on the PS4, and this thing was ridiculously overpowered, right? Extremely, extremely effective when running um, shoulder to shoulder with some players and trying uh, with some defenders and trying to shrug them off to get that bit of pace but where it became very annoying 
is when guys were using it to waste time, when guys were using it to frustrate the opponent, especially in the weekend league. So um, we have we have received word that the shielding button has also been revised a little bit. Now, whether or not this means that EA are toning it down a little bit to make it a bit more fair for those frustrating situations where players tend to waste time or so on, we cannot say for sure. But we do know that the the shielding mechanic will be revised as well. Whether this is just uh, one of the things that are changing together with the complete in-game gameplay mechanics, we don't know. But we definitely know that the shielding um, is going to be changing. So. Is this a good thing? Is this a bad thing? If they do tone it down, is this a good thing? Is this a bad thing? Let me know in the comment section below if you guys are for or against this. Um, fifth on the list, we have team styles. Now, from Barcelona's Tiki Taka to Chelsea's counter-attacking football under Antonio Conte. In FIFA 18, the biggest clubs will have their own distinctive play style as they have it in real life. So, Juventus, notoriously difficult to break down in defense. We're going to be seeing that in FIFA 18. Uh, West Brom and Tony Pulis, very, very defensive side. Park the bus. We're going to be seeing that in FIFA 18. Um, and it's going to be adding uh, something different to the uh, adding something different to the uh, overall gameplay, um, especially when you're playing in career mode um, and when you're playing just normal um, offline, uh, offline gameplay, you will really be able to identify um, how the different teams you know, play. But not only that, EA Sports has also completely overhauled, like I said, the in-game gameplay mechanics of FIFA 18 with what they are calling new, new player positioning. Now what this does is it allows more intelligent runs from teammates to create space, as well as more intuitive attacking and defensive movements of, of teammates and uh, opponents overall. So this means that, and I'm sure you guys noticed that in FIFA 17, for example, if you're center back for some reason step out of the back line trying to um trying to challenge for trying to tackle for the ball or for uh, running up the pitch to to support the attack your cdm would instinctively drop back into that position and cover the space right something that wasn't really as prominent in fifa 16 fifa 15 for example so in fifa 18 that aspect of the game is just gonna be taken to the next level where together with the with the um, with the team styles and together with the with the new um, with the new game mechanics, everything is gonna it's gonna just be that much more realistic and that much more exciting and more um, entertaining to play with. Because we know, for example, that there are there are a couple of players that as defenders they are very 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 um, aggressive in trying to steal away the ball, and we will see that. For example, someone like David Luiz, who always steps up to try and win the ball. We're going to be seeing that in FIFA 18 under the new um, player, the, under the new the real player motion technology um, or player characteristics for short, if you want to call it that. So complete overhaul of the in-game mechanics, complete overhaul of how the team functions as a unit and how the players move, how they provide runs, how they support each other um, with the overall gameplay. So. A very very exciting picture that I'm that I'm really excited to look forward to. Um, next on the list are immersive atmospheres. Now, in FIFA 17, um, EA managed to gain the licenses of all Premier League um, stadiums. Right now, what they're going to be doing in FIFA 18 is they're going to be taking this to the next level by improving the atmosphere in the stadiums. Now, stadiums will now have club, club specific banners, authentic crowd chants, and signature pitch side fixtures. So, or features rather. So for example, at um, West Ham, whenever players come out or come onto the pitch for a match, you have the bubble machines going crazy. We can expect to see that in FIFA 18. Um, at Lyon, for example, um, the crowd do the Viking clap. We can expect to see that in FIFA 18. EA are completely investing in the atmospheres um, in a stadium. They are they are going to be adding authentic um, sun positioning. Um, they are going to be having specific crowd. They're going to having specific um, commentary segments for for different parts of the game and for different stadiums and so on and so forth. And another one, um, another thing that's going to be added to FIFA 18 is the ability to run up and interact and celebrate with the fans 
So now you'll be able to run into the crowd and, and, and interact with the fans and, 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 and celebrate with them. And this means now that the animations of the fans, especially um, pitch side, is going to be a lot better than they were um, in previous FIFAs. It's, 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 it's crazy what EA um, are claiming to have achieved with the Frostbite engine in FIFA 18. And we can only, we can only hope to see um, what, they, what they have for us when the final game comes out now obviously with this interacting with the fans and celebrating with the fans um in a real life you often get a yellow card for celebrating with the fans so it will be interesting to see whether or not they are going to include that um in the actual uh, game or not or whether i'm just nitpicking here but it will be interesting to see and finally involved or uh, included in the in the um immersive atmospheres and the complete overhaul of the um, stadiums and how the stadiums um how the stadiums feel when you play in them is uh, the presence of on-pitch debris. Now, all of these features, especially with the immersive atmospheres and the running into the crowds and so on and so forth, we definitely know that it's going to be on the game in kickoff mode when you're playing career mode or when you're playing player career mode, it's definitely going to be there. It'll be interesting, interesting to see what will translate and carry over into FIFA Ultimate Team. Um, for example, I wouldn't want debris to be on the pitch if it's going to affect the game in terms of how the ball moves, if, if the ball slows down, if it comes into an area with a lot of confetti, for example, or whatever the case is. So it'll be interesting to see how FIFA deal with that. The journey returns. Alex Hunter returns to FIFA 18 and there is a, a trailer on this um, that has been released at E3 as well. And it, it looks like they're just going to be taking the story um, to, a, to a bigger and, 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 and better place, man. So the journey was a massive, massive, massive hit in FIFA 17. It was really, really dope. And it will be interesting to see um, what they can do uh, with the journey in FIFA 18. Now, to end off, we're going to be talking about the pre-order options that are available for FIFA 18 right now. So at present, you can pre-order FIFA 18. And there are two special editions that you are able to get when you pre-order FIFA 18. So you have basically the Ronaldo editions, right? So you have the Cristiano Ronaldo edition and then you have the Ronaldo Nazario uh, edition. So that's uh, R9, the original Ronaldo, if I may say so, right? So the Brazilian Ronaldo. And what these editions give you, right, is they give you three day early access. They give you, and most of it, I think most of the perks um, to the pre-order and to the special editions is just for serious FIFA Ultimate Team gamers because for the special Cristiano Ronaldo edition at least, you get not only a 3-day early access, but you also get um, 20 Jumbo Premium Gold Packs. Um, together with the 20 Jumbo Premium Gold Packs, you get a Cristiano Ronaldo lone player for 5 games and so much more. There's, there, there, there'll be eight, um, eight authentic kits that you'll be getting as well um, with, your, with your special edition. And there might be some other, some other special goodies that EA are, um, are holding back from us. But two editions, the Cristiano Ronaldo edition and the Ronaldo uh, Nazario edition. And Ronaldo Nazario edition, they're calling it the Icon edition. And this one will also include Ronaldo as a lone player for five games. And we'll probably also include the 20 Jumbo Premium Gold Packs, um, the eight special kits, and obviously there's another three, the three day early access. But yeah, man, FIFA 18 is it's shaping up to 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 break the internet and and, and take and make make the whole world stand still when it comes out because it's gonna be so lit from the signature player char characteristics, Ronaldo sprinting like he does in the game. Because we used to see it in FIFA 17 with the free kicks, for example. You know, they just they they they're constantly evolving their their product, and it, it is it's absolutely exciting to see um, what they come up with. Let me know what you guys think about FIFA 18. Let me know what you guys like and dislike um, about the about the new features that have been released to us and that have been made available to us. Let me know what you guys think of the five icons that have been um, that have been revealed. And let me know which icons you guys want to see released or re revealed later in the year. I personally want to see Ronaldinho in there because, I mean, you cannot have Ronaldo 
and not have Ronaldinho. I mean, come on, boys. Thierry Henry is there. What are we doing? Anyway, guys, this has been Norman Tube with a FIFA 18 update video, giving you guys new features. Please, please like this video if you enjoyed it. Make sure you share it with your friends. Um, and make sure you subscribe to the channel for loads more gaming content to come. Peace out.